Nearly six years after police say they were kidnapped from a Tucson park, two children are found safe in Mexico. Their parents are under arrest. Luis and Camila Ramirez were taken from Silver Lake Park in 2018 by their parents during a supervised visit with the Department of Child Safety. After reportedly fleeing to Mexico and hiding there for over five years, the parents are now behind bars and the kids are in the process of reuniting with their family in Arizona. 13 News reporter Andreas Rendon has been following this story and is joining us live with more. Andreas, you spoke with officials who worked closely with this case. What are they saying? Well, you know, Ashley, after being abducted nearly six years ago here from Silver Lake Park, what officials are telling me is that they're extremely relieved that the children were found safe and sound in Mexico. But they also say that this means justice can finally be served, not only for the kidnapping, but for the other crimes committed by the suspects in Arizona as well. May 4th, 2018. Luis Herrera Ramirez and Andrea Vanessa Ramirez headed to Silver Lake Park to see their two children, Luis and Camila, for a supervised visit with an employee from the Department of Child Safety. The Ramirez parents had previously lost custody of their kids after being indicted for multiple counts of sexual exploitation of a minor and child abuse with a firearm. When we first received the call, it was a 911 caller um, who had reported they'd found somebody who was tied up to a tree. Um, it was later determined that was a DCS worker. According to officers, Herrera Ramirez attacked the employee with a taser and tied her to a tree before taking the children and fleeing off to Mexico. Once we learned that, we began working, trying to know, you know, notifying the port in case they were going to flee the country, which in fact we later determined, we were able to later determine that they had. In 2019, both Ramirez parents were found guilty in absentia on multiple charges, including sexual exploitation and child abuse, and new charges for aggravated assault of the DCS employee and kidnapping. In a statement, Van Bayless, the U.S. Marshal for the District of Arizona, said, quote, Of all the dangerous fugitives the U.S. Marshals arrest, the individuals who are charged with crimes against minors are especially important to us. The tireless work and cooperation between local, federal, and international agencies ensured those who violate the trust of children are held responsible for their actions. After sifting through tips on social media, one tip from Facebook pointed officials to Aguas Calientes, Mexico, the area where the Ramirez's were staying. And on April 5th, Luis Herrera Ramirez and Andrea Vanessa Ramirez were arrested and the children were taken back to Arizona. For law enforcement who have been working the case, it means justice will finally be served. We have the DCS worker who was attacked um, uh, and they will uh, stand trial for those for those offenses um, and for what they did to their to the children. They're going to stand trial for that. But for their custodial guardian, Erika Ramirez, this is a moment she has been waiting for since 2018. We're beyond ecstatic that the kids are coming home. Keep us in your thoughts and your prayers as we begin to rebuild our our new life um, together. All right, right now, Luis Herrera Ramirez and Andrea Vanessa Ramirez are currently in custody in Mexico, awaiting extradition back to the United States for the crimes that they committed here in the state of Southern Arizona. And also, too, for the children, Luis and Camila, their custodial guardian and aunt, Erika Ramirez, says she is beyond grateful and relieved that the children were found safe and sound, and she cannot wait to be with them soon. And she thanks the community for their endless support and hope into getting the family reunited. Live in Silver Lake Park, Andres Rendon, 13 News.